afternoon everybody. How are we all doing today? You're here with Ma Webb and today we are going to make some roasted potatoes. Very simple, very easy. At least I think so. So the first thing we're going to do is I have some red potatoes, as you can see, and I've washed them. Now red potatoes you don't have to peel. That's what makes it so easy. So I'm just going to take and cut these on up. Cut them in half, cut them again in half, and just kind of them like this. Throw them in the bowl or the pan, and just so on. Just like this. Now my kids love this, and so does my husband. And I make it once in a while, and I always do it differently. You know, every nobody cooks the same, and no dish is ever made the same. It just doesn't happen that way. Now, as you see, the way I'm cutting this is if Amberelle from the Worst Cooks in America is watching, she's going to probably come over and put a red mark on my finger because I am not tucking it in. I have tried. It just doesn't work for me. So, sorry. See, just like that. And no, they're probably not even because I am not a professional cook. And I don't pretend to be. And if you have seen some of the things I've made, you know. So get these all cut up. I think about one more might do. Here we go. Now, got those cut. And I'm going to turn around over here. And I'm going to turn and preheat my oven to 400. These little sweet peppers, you can buy them at the grocery store, any store. And I'm going to just cut these up. I cut the tops of them off. And then I cut them in half. And again, another half. And just like this. Like so. I throw those in. I got two different colored sweet peppers here. I have yellow and your oranges. And I also could cut, cut them like this. I just cut it like that with a on stem and go that route and do that way. Hold it together like that. Nothing even. Do it back here. Again. Like this. Like so. Easy. This. Now I'm going to leave this on, hold the onion together. Why you cut it? Alrighty. So I want to dice this. So I'm going to go down this way here. Turn around this way. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to go down this way for my diced onions. And I'm just going to do a few. Not everybody likes onions. So. Right. There we go. Then I have garlic. And yes, I cheat. I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to smash my own garlic. 
I'm going to buy it in a jar that's already done for me. Because these days nobody has busy, and I'm just going to use about a teaspoon. Okay. So there's that. Put that lid on there. Put that in the sink over here. Okay. Now, I use kosher salt because it's a little bit more, it seems to be a little, hold its salt better. So just a little bit like that. And it's some black pepper. So, let me move this stuff out of the way. Okay. And then this is olive oil. olive oil and then I'm going to mix it up just like so. Now some people will cover it with foil and some people won't. I don't think I'm going to cover this up with foil at all. And I'm going to just kind of stir that around. There we go. There's the potatoes and they're ready to go in the oven and I'm going to put them in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour because I do not like my potatoes raw when I eat them. Potatoes in the oven and I've taken them out and they look pretty good here. Yes, they do. So I'm going to serve these up for my dinner tonight to my family and I hope you enjoy yours too. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button to follow me and see what I come up with next. You all have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye bye. Till next time.